Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Tarvis after hours of just closing up for the night. Uh, unfortunately, real world grown up stuff uh, kind of uh, harshed my mojo this morning. I had to get off and get all kinds of uh, real world things done. These darn grown up being an adult commitments can be a real, you know, harsh on your, uh, on your model building time. But anyway, I did manage to get out this evening, get a little work done. Uh, Got the big prairie schooner by by big, I mean the 148 scale wagon, the prairie schooner. Uh, some work done. I got got a lot of stuff pre-painted, got uh, kind of together, and um, I was. It's funny. It's kind of like the diorama as I was painting the little characters. It comes with a, I guess it's supposed to be a mom, a dad, and a kid. It's a woman, a child, and a frontiersman. So figure you know settler family, and judging by the rifle, this is like. Uh, the early days because he's got like a, what looks to be a percussion cap single shot rifle pretty detailed uh, th this was originally um masterpiece miniatures and off the top of my head i want to say these molds were originally cut by anthony balone um if i remember from the uh book on Ravel. um and these these western figures and frontier figures and that stuff were all kind of a hobby his really talented guy that's why 66 years later they still put out such nice models. Now, yeah, the molds are old and you have to cut some flash off of them, but uh, still um, very impressed, very impressive work. And of course, the little miniature 190 scale prairie schooner is just kind of a nut for rivet copy of the big one with, you know, obviously a little less detailed. You got the stagecoach. I got the second ones done today. Actually, added some, some reins to those uh, using thread. And um, they're. Uh, they're just adorable, and they would go good on an HO layout, or excuse me, a uh, let's see, when, yeah, yeah, I guess that would be an HO layout. So uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, head on in, and oh, I heard from Andy today from uh, Aurora, and uh, um, so uh, he gave me some details about the uh, relationship between AMT and Aurora, where the Mr. Spock and the Enterprise were concerned, and. I thought about reading his email here, but I said, you know what? He gave me so much detail. I think we just might have another Aurora file episode if I can get that put together. So uh, anyway, um, well, that's really about all for this evening. I'm getting the launch rails mounted on the Mercury Redstone. And uh, like I say, hopefully this weekend I'll be able to go fly it. I only have two motors for it and they old ones, but uh, they should still be good. Went and bought some igniters today. And uh, I need, I almost bought the launch setup, but that costs as much as a rocket. And I'm nearly, really not getting bad at getting a model rocket. So I figure if I fire it once or twice, then I spend $22 on a, on a thing only to use it one or two times. But when it's pretty easy to launch rockets. But then after I left the hobby shop, I was saying, oh, wait a minute. You know, unless you want to uncoil a bunch of wire and drive your car out there and use the car battery to, to launch it, you really need a, a launch thing. And so maybe I'll, maybe I'll get one. Maybe I'll figure it out but uh uh that aside oh speaking of which speaking of buying things that cost 25 dollars or 21 dollars of course if i did buy the launch set <laughs> i had an excuse to get back into model rockets but first i need to know if they'll let me launch them out at the uh rc club because if they don't i'm not sure i'm sure there's some place around here to do it but i'm not sure where um but uh the FAA may be cracking down on drones, <laughs> but they haven't gone after model rockets yet, unless you're like into Tripoli and the big whoosh, altitude stuff. Um, I finally bought a proper rotating uh, clamp for my models, uh, you know, for the setup for painting and everything. For years, I've just been putting them on a stick or, you know, whatever position. And, and, and my wife had a 40% coupon. We were Hobby Lobby, and I was like, oh, crap. You know what? Let's just get the bloody thing. I'm, um, I, I, I can't t count the number of times I've uh, screwed up a model painting it because I was, you know, just you holding on a stick or something. So it seems to be working pretty well. So anyway, that's about all for tonight. You guys have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you later. Model on.